God question itself. What yeah. is sacred geometry? Um, so sacred, sacred geometry, there's several versions of this. There are old school, like flower of life, seed of life, everything built off of a circle. Um, what they talk about is that this, uh, the circle is the, like the original source of God. And then the circle, when it splits, it creates this vesica Pisces, right? Which is like the Venn diagram, the two overlapping circles. Right? So if you ever think about when a child is uh, conceived and the sperm goes into the egg, it starts to do its thing, right? And then what's happening? Yes. That's like, and it literally is in the same shape as the flower. Life. So it goes from the one to the two, to the egg of life, to the seed of life, to the flower of life. And then it just keeps doing this thing. Before you continue, it's, does the universe do the same thing? It seems the like, does it, the same seems thing, like yeah. it does. So when, when take this back to the book of creation, when God okay. spoke, okay. One of the first, first things God spoke. And in that speaking is the big bang is the expansion. If we wanted to call that big bang a proper theory. And so when God spoke that frequency, that sound, that cymatics created that energy, that flower of life. And it rippled everything out okay. because then you have, you know, if you, if, if the circle is satisfied being a circle, it never needs to expand to another circle. So even in the whole concept around divinity and God, when God actually created the universe, we wanted to call it that, whatever this is that we're in, it questioned itself. Who am I? What am I? What is this? How does this work? Okay. You're saying God questions itself. God questioned itself. Okay. Yeah. In order to create what it did, that hesitation with all the energy in the universe is the big bang. 